Okay, well, I'm doing the Feed the Fauna uh, weekly mission for Nexus, and I overshot the landing spot and discovered this little gem. Don't quite remember the full name, it's Cap Summer House or something like that. No landing pad that I can see, uh, which is kind of cool. Let's go in for a very, very, very careful landing. Oh, he built it next to a uh, bunch of Sentinel depots. Yes, I'm having breakfast. Okay, let's park your ship. So it's even on the ground. Oh, Cap Island, dollar sign. Last edited by Red Wolf 7895. of solar panels. Oh, one battery. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> A whole lot of solar panels. Go away, you beastie. Yeah, I'm here to feed you pellets. Ugh. Okay, so clearly there is more going on. Not a teleporter. Now, as much as I love what this person has done, uh, the game is brutal in regards to recovering terrain. And I recently had a taste of that. One of my bases, Kara Wakelin, is pretty much a death trap now. Um, because of that, simple reason is that if you go in the base via teleporter you can't get out because the cave entrance I had landscaped a bit and then put a couple of uh, glass panels over the deepest part not realizing or not remembering that the, the stairs were occupying space occupied by rock the rock grew back merged with the glass panels and there you go so if you ever go to Kara Wakelin, uh, grief me, i.e. report me to PlayStation using the uh, base computer terminal. The base literally appears, disappears at that point, including the glass panels over the exit, and you can just jetpack out. Um, quick aside, uh, this is sheer idiocy on the part of Hello Games that reporting bases is no longer done to... Hello Games, but the PlayStation, PlayStation is only interested if the name is obscene or, you know, you've done something wrong, like, I don't know. Um, as opposed to not so long ago, if you reported base to Hello Games, you would actually get a message from Hello Games and saying, you know, the, you know the, we understand what the problem is with the base. There's actually a, a comment you could put. You could put that the base was a death trap, like the base computer at the bottom of one of those uh, hollow mesas. You know, <laughs> you teleport in, and you're at the bottom of a hole with no stairs, no teleporter pad, nothing. And with the uh, recent, uh, about a year now, uh, let's say very often, uh, it can be a problem. Because by the time you realize you can't get out, the machine has saved, and you are stuck in there. Unless, of course, you grief the base. Let's check it out. Not sure why two doors side by side like that. Could have made another glass wall. Or could have made some sort of storage shed for the gardener. Careful running of the wires near the ceiling. I ah, just 
uh, have the uh, wire hider thing, which sadly does not work all the time. Honey, throw down a rug and call it home. Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> Talking of rugs. Needs a flat screen. Uh, I would love to furnish this place. Ooh, nice. Security office right next to the teleporter ring. Hmm. Yeah, the, the game seriously has lighting problems when you put more lights than you have seeing panels for just to get some light. Okay, where's that teleporter pad? Oh, right, of course. Yeah, I love how the ring, the vault, uh, storage container, are taller than the standard wall panels for wood, rock, and uh, metal. Although they'll fit very nicely into cuboid uh, and prefab uh, rooms. What is there around here that needs too large? Because there's nothing else in the base. You, you'd think there'd be depot or something. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, personally, I like it. Um, a lot of electricity. I just can't help but wonder for why. Certainly the floor panels don't use up that much electricity. No, well, maybe they do. Anyway. Ah, okay. Right. Can't keep the wildlife out of your houses. Sheesh. <clears throat> so, um, lovely. <coughs> Very lovely. <laughs>